FC24 title update number 16. Yes, they've been 16 title updates since the game launched last year, about nine months ago. I guess a lot can happen in nine months. Many mistakes, many errors can be identified over that period of time. And even after this update, it's still not perfect. But with the settings and the sliders I'm going to present you in this video, it may be just a bit better. It may be just a bit more realistic and it may be just a bit more enjoyable because we're all struggling, aren't we? Case in point, the lack of content on my channel, the lack of career mode content more specifically on my channel i'm not enjoying the game i'm just not i'm tired of making videos explaining i'm not enjoying the game so you know what just take a bit of a hiatus but we may be back soon enough so stay tuned for that and stay tuned till the end of the video all the settings and the sliders in this video will be very much uh relevant in trying to make the game play like it is looking on screen right now so if you're going to enjoy this video please do drop a like on it and subscribe as well i'd greatly greatly appreciate that if you play ultimate team or clubs you'll be glad to know that there are multiple fixes in this update multiple bugs have been removed from the game to try to make those specific game modes more enjoyable but if you're one of us, if you're part of the career mode squad, you're glad to know we have a fix ourselves, okay? A very big fix. Listen, it's a fix, okay? Something. They gave us something, they threw us a bone, and that is that. Sometimes an incorrect player of the match trophy was displayed. You look at it one of two ways, glass half full, glass half empty. We're leaving with something or they just don't care. But that's basically it. Apart from that, there's just been some general stability changes and fixes and stuff. So not a big update, again, if you are part of the career mode squad. But in terms of the gameplay, first of all, it's taking a step back. It's taking a step back. And if you're somehow are watching this video back of the title update 15 video, you probably think I'm bipolar. You probably think I'm borderline schizophrenic. Yeah? Because I was enjoying the game to a degree. I was enjoying the game. It was better. It was an improvement on title update 13 and 14. 15 was better. 16 has taken a few steps back. And changes have had to be made in the upcoming sliders. I don't know about you guys, but do let me know if you guys are thinking the same thing or am I just a bit crazy here? Now, here are some of the most important settings I apply to my game. First of all, I play on six minute halves. I do get questions. How long should I play on? I play on six. I'd say the upcoming sliders and settings work best for between five to up until 10. 10 at a max minute halves. I know there are some of those crazy people out there that play 20 minute halves. I mean, fair play play to you to put yourself through that much torment and there are others as well that play in three and four minute house who are just psychopaths as well but hey we're all crazy in our own ways and I play on six minute halves that's what I would suggest now in terms of difficulty world class the last video I said legendary I was gonna try it out ultimate I was gonna try it out it wasn't too bad I've tried it here it's once again unplayable though cheers EA or just sticking to world class for now and that is the difficulty I'm playing on in this video of course I'm not saying 100% stick to world class listen if you dare go to legendary and if you dare go to ultimate go for it but you're just a better FC player than I am in that regard and then game speed I play on slow paced game speed this is never touched always on slow Slow. Another question I always get in the comments is the camera and sometimes I show my camera and I still get asked for the camera setting so we're gonna make a dedicated section here for the camera okay here is us telling you about the camera camera is EA Sports game cam right and it's customized to zero height yeah 20 zoom 15 far side focus and we have one ball tracking speed so those are the relevant margins previously i used broadcast and if you want the settings for that it's probably one of the previous videos where i showed what i used it but then now i'm playing on ea sports game cam with those metrics now let me start rambling about the settings and just get straight to the sliders i know this is what you guys came here for okay sprint speed user sprint speed is on three CPU sprint speed is on two, so one advantage to the user. Now we go to acceleration, and for the first time, I've actually used above 50 acceleration because the whole bug of the AI just sprinting past your defenders is back once again. It's back in full force, and this is the only way to counter that, okay? It's by increasing the acceleration one higher than the AI. So I have my acceleration on 51 and the CPU acceleration on default 50. If you look 
lower the CPU's acceleration, it's gonna make it easy for you to just sprint past them as well. So don't lower that, keep it on default 50, but give yourself a boost in one there to 51. If you find that a bit too easy or find it a bit too fast, lower your acceleration down to 50 as well. Then we have shot error on 65 for both user and CPU. Then we have pass error on 74 for both user and CPU. Shot speed on 46 for both and then pass speed is on 38 for the user and on 35 for the CPU, especially if you're gonna try to play on Legendary or Ultimate, I'd really suggest this because of course, they're always gonna pass the ball better, they're always gonna pass the ball faster, so that's where you give yourself that advantage in terms of the pass speed. Injury frequency is on 85, injury severity is on 35, we have goalkeeper ability on 66 for both of them, and then we have marking lower down to 62. If you want uh, the games to be a bit more competitive in the midfield, if you want them to be a bit more uh, physical with you and you want matches where there are a lot of turnovers and stuff, I'd suggest increasing the marking, but I have it on 62, run frequency on 10. If you want more balls, if you want more runs to be made either by the CPU or by the user, increase the run frequency accordingly, but I have it on 10. And then we have line height on 60 for both. We have line length on 33 line width on 47 and then we have full back positioning on 30 and finally we have first touch control error on 90 this really makes a difference when you are playing with low quality players compared to high quality players things such as dribbling you know players that have lower ball control are going to find it difficult to dribble past like tight spaces dribble past players you'll see them overrun the ball potentially you'll see them run it out of play you know they'll find it more difficult to play like a first time pass or first time shot and stuff like that so you really feel the difference between high quality and low quality players but those are the sliders but just as important are the game settings okay the assistance levels so on and so forth you can just pause the video here just to take a closer look at what exactly i have set up but one thing i want to point out is manual jockeying highly suggest manual jockeying if you go with assisted jockeying i think it's going to be a bit too easy i think you're going to find it a bit too easy to win the ball back uh, even the high quality players may not dribble past you as much as they they probably should you'll see in the video there are times where they dribble past me i dribble past them you know it's kind of that thing manual jockey really requires you to be in full control of defenders in each and every situation you feel the pressure when you're up against like a high quality dribbler or a very fast winger where it's like if you slightly give them um that yard of space or you're slightly out of position they will punish you so you should be careful of that and it adds that challenge as well you know so that's one I'd really point out but then others are down to personal preference in terms of like you're switching and stuff like that but also the semi-assisted passing highly highly suggest that because when you use that alongside like the pass error stats when you use semi-assisted shooting alongside the shot error stat it really makes things challenging and you feel that much of a reward when you get that beautiful goal that beautiful long-range goal or whatever it becomes more rewarding, okay? So I'd highly suggest those, but in the comments, do let me know what you guys think of this update. Are you guys still playing it? What are you guys actually doing to keep the game enjoyable, to just keep playing it? Because, yeah, we're all in that period, especially as like career mode players, where you have to be very uh, innovative in how you're gonna try to make the game enjoyable for yourself. Uh, what's your next career mode save? What do you think of the game? Let me know in the comments. But that's been it for me for now. I'll be back with content. Trust me, I'm working on a few stuff in the background, kind of a bit time consuming, but I hope you guys will enjoy the content I'll be bringing towards you very soon. So make sure you are liking, make sure you are subscribing. The bell notification is ticked, not to miss any uploads. But I've been Quickie Crusher and I'll see you guys next time.